As we head into the month of June, which is what we're in right now, this is the second rainiest month of the year statistically for us here in South Florida. So uh, June is usually a sopping wet month with about eight and a half inches of rain right behind the uh, 8.7 that we typically get in August. We do tend to dry out a little bit in July, but we've got a wet month ahead of us. At least the statistics mean anything, and we're certainly off to the races as far as the uh, wet weather goes this month of June. Things are dry on the mainland right now, but I am watching tropical storm Arlene and a general area of widespread low pressure. So it's just uh, we've got all the conditions for more stormy weather this weekend. And while we're not really going to feel the direct impacts from Arlene, we're still going to be on the side that tosses the moisture up into South Florida. So during the daytime heating, we already have a general area of low pressure sitting over us right now. And then to add insult to injury, some of the moisture around that is going to wrap in. By the way, Arlene is heading down toward western Cuba and will probably fizzle out uh, tonight and tomorrow. But uh, for today, excessive rainfall is in the forecast, released in the marginal risk. That's a one out of four threat for flood producing rains all across South Florida today. And because of that, we're still under a flood watch through midnight tonight for Palm Beach County back toward Glades and Hendry County and on down toward uh, Broward and Miami Dade as well. Here's your future radar. We're going to start off with dry weather this morning and as we head toward noon, we are still dry. But watch what happens as we head toward four o'clock. Here come the storms. Some of the western suburbs of the Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches. They march toward the east. There could be some very heavy downpours. Could be some small hail and some uh, strong gusty winds as well. We'll lose the heating of the day. They'll fizzle out. Then tomorrow morning, we'll see a lot of showers and storms out there over the ocean, but basically dry until about midday and then we'll see more showers and storms. But tomorrow the flow becomes more northeasterly, so these will develop near the coast around midday, then push farther and farther inland and away from us. So we'll probably see less uh, coverage on the storms tomorrow than we'll see today for the beachgoers, mainly late day storms today. Keep an eye out for that for the boaters. No advisories, but storms are likely, so we got to watch out for that as well. Otherwise, seas running about one to two feet. They could be higher near some of those storms. So for today, strong afternoon and evening storms, likely temperatures right around 86. That's Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast today. Uh, 86 for the high. We're going to keep the rain chance at about 80% today, 70%, but mostly inland tomorrow. We'll bring the rain chance down on Monday and Tuesday temporarily. Then we ramp it back up again as we head toward Wednesday, Thursday and Friday.